Hi there, this is John O'Neill Sr. from Train Signal, and today I want to take you on a quick ride through the world of BitLocker to Go in Windows 8. Now, BitLocker to Go is a great tool for encrypting and protecting the data on those USB flash drives that we all carry around in our pocket and hope don't fall out at the local Starbucks or grocery store. Well, if you use BitLocker to Go, at least if they fall out, you can be sure that your data is not going to be looked at or reviewed or distributed or you'll find it popped up on YouTube accidentally. So with that said, let's take a look at how to get BitLocker to go to encrypt a USB drive plugged into my Windows 8 computer. Now there's a couple ways of starting the BitLocker to go encryption wizard. The first of which is to open the charms bar, go up to search, type in BitLocker, click settings, and then click BitLocker drive encryption in the results window. This will open up the BitLocker drive encryption control panel applet. And if you look, you can see down under removable data drives, the BitLocker to go option. Now I'm going to exit out because I wanna show you what I consider to be an even easier method to turn on BitLocker to go for a specific USB drive. So let's click our X and drop out of here. We will open up Windows Explorer, click Computer, find our removable drive, and right-click it. Now there's an option for Turn on BitLocker. Let's go ahead and fire that up, and you'll notice that the BitLocker Drive Encryption Wizard starts right off, so we can avoid a few steps by doing it this way. Once the initial scan to make sure everything is as it's supposed to be completes, we'll get into our first option, which is to set a password to unlock the drive. Now you can use a smart card if that's a option that you have available to you, but many people will just use the password option, which is what I'm going to do here. Of course, I need to confirm the password and then click next. At this point, we're asked where to save or what to do with our recovery key. This is a critical step because the recovery key is the only way you will gain access to your data again if you forget your password. Now, I know we all think we'll never forget our password, but I strongly suggest, because I don't wanna see you lose access to your important data, that you save your recovery key somewhere. Now you can print it out, but it's, pretty gargantuan, so I go with the save option and I save it to a secure location. I'll click save to a file and I will go ahead and choose to save it in my documents folder. We'll click save. Now you'll notice that it says your recovery key has been saved and the next option is available, so we'll click that. At this point, we're going to choose how much of the drive to encrypt. With Windows 8, BitLocker evolved to where you no longer need to encrypt every bit of space available on the drive. You can choose to only encrypt the use sections. Now this makes the whole process much, much faster, particularly if you have a very large drive. And this is the option I'm going to go with here so that we can speed right through. Finally, I'll be asked, are you sure? And of course, I'll click Start Encrypting. Now you'll notice that the process will begin and it will take a few minutes for this to complete. So I'll go ahead and pause the, the video and we'll do a time lapse so that you don't have to uh, listen to me hum the tune of Jeopardy for you. And I'll be right back. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Now I'll click close here. And you'll notice that in my computer, we now have a lock icon, which is in the unlock state because of course the drive is accessible to me right now since I haven't rebooted the computer or unplugged the drive and plugged it back in. But that indicates that this drive is encrypted and will require some form of unlock before it can be used. Now the password prompt will occur on Windows 8 as well as Windows 7. So if you take this to a Windows 7 machine, you will be able to unlock the drive and use it both in read and write form. Beyond that, you can plug it into a Windows XP machine, but it will be read only.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick look at BitLocker to go in Windows 8, and I hope that you use it to protect your data on your USB drive soon. Until the next time, take care and have an awesome day.